August 15th was America Recycles Day, and across the Golden State, people brought millions of pounds of old televisions, computer monitors, and other electronic waste to be sorted, classified, and taken to recycle centers. In San Diego, a cooperative effort between Sony, Waste Management, and the local college district collected more than 150,000 pounds of materials that will be diverted from local landfills. Well, the partnership today with this recycling event helps keep electronic materials out of the landfills and puts them back into the recycling mainstream. Within the first hour, more than 300 vehicles arrived to drop off more than 30,000 pounds of electronic waste. Organizers say more than 1,600 cars came through the lines by day's end. Many electronic items contain materials deemed hazardous to the environment and cannot end up in landfills. Collection events such as Saturday's turn-in help provide Californians with an easy, safe, and convenient way to recycle unwanted electronic items. In many ways, this event was a huge first step in a new era of collection. Sony Electronics and Waste Management Corporation teamed up to organize, sponsor, and promote this event. So back in August, we launched our national recycling program with Waste Management and um, we launched it from a depot perspective, so we partnered with them for national drop-off um, sites around the country, and we wanted to make sure that um, it was as easy to, and convenient for consumers to recycle it as it was to purchase. Vista California-based eWorld Recyclers took on the huge responsibility of collection and transportation. They set up all the collection lanes, trained more than 40 volunteers to properly handle and sort the materials, and carefully kept track of every one of the more than 1,600 cars that helped the environment by recycling their old and outdated electronic materials. Well, this has been one of the smoothest events that I've ever seen. Um, the traffic flow has been constant, and people are recycling uh, all their electronics, whether it's television sets, computers, and the like. You know, I've collected a lot of old computers over the years and make, build my own and a lot of extra parts lying around and old systems, so they've been taking up too much room in the garage. Got a new baby on the way and we needed to free up some room for all of her fun stuff. Electronic waste is the fastest growing component in California's waste stream. California now generates more than 92 million tons of solid waste annually. But the good news is that more than half of that is reused, recycled, or converted into higher value products. While California has seen a reduction in most waste categories, e-waste is growing two to three times faster as technology advances and new items enter the market. Um, we, we definitely want to support um, our national recycling program and we want to build it so it's sustainable. So it means um, really focusing on permanent drop-off locations um, that people could use any day of the week, any day, any day of the year. All the collected items filled more than 11 semi-trailers, which were then hauled to eWorld Recyclers, where the items were broken down into materials that eventually will be used in new products. This San Diego event exceeded all expectations, and organizers were pleased how well the process ran from start to finish. And the lessons learned here will help them become even more successful in their next electronic recycling event on January 24, 2010, at Qualcomm Stadium. In San Diego, California, I'm Andrew Hewen.